So once again, you are welcome to this channel. And today, I will be showing you one or two techniques on troubleshooting stabilizers. Uh, so that when you are doing your your so when you are doing your troubleshooting you understand something now rule number one let me let you know about troubleshooting techniques or repair techniques on stabilizer when you have done removing the cover let me say the, removing the cover is number one and number two don't work on the board without you cleaning up the board get a paint brush and dust the board properly. Never you work on a dirty board, you will suffer repairing that system. So only ensure that it's clean as this one is shining. You use your pen brush to clean it. And if you have a blower like this, you can use a blower to do some blowing. Now this is what we do here, we blow it, we use pen brush, dust everything, then we use blower and blow it. So by then the system is clean, so when you are walking, you see properly, your eyes will be open to the boss line and some other things. So technicians, take note, always clean, brush it properly, let it be shiny with paint brush. Use your paint brush and do a good cleaning. Clean it properly. If you can get a softer one, you get, because this one at times is strong, but it's better for some board. Uh, why I mention the softer one is, there are some China board, there's a way you brush it now, you might kill any of the components or peel it off. But, it, but rule number two, clean the board properly before you're ready to work. So, I this stabilizer, I don't even know the problem. Let me on it and see. Let me see what happens here. the potential light is coming on so meaning what is really wrong with this where do you start from when you encounter such such uh, issues like this me let me show you why I normally handle such where am I supposed to check now the thing is coming on meaning the wire is okay first of all and light is entering the board number two if all this one is displaying well if you listen where well, you see a little triggering in mid. Now, that triggering sound tells you that the IC is okay. Let me do it again. Come closer, let them hear the sound. Okay. Let me just come closer, let them hear it. You see that tapping sound? It shows you that one of the ICs are okay. So meaning at times the stabilizer works, at times it will not work. You see what is going on? Meaning something is wrong with the board. So let me go and see what is really wrong. Now, where do I start for in such a case? Uh, the variable have not been tempered with so let me first of all read the variables let, let's go one after the other if you are reading the variables put your meter in the ohms range come closer let us see what i'm reading so we have one two three four variables okay five the variables are what is written on them, 5K. Okay, it's 10 key. So I switch it to the resistance. 
let us see the meter also and let us see what is coming up the first one i put one of my probe you know transistor has three legs i put one of my probe this is the legs one two three one two three one two three at the center at the center leg to one side what did i get nothing at the other side nothing so meaning it's not reading so meaning something is wrong with this it's already the second one eight point something six point something make ha is bad the second one is bad three Ha. Is bad? Ha. Let me go to the fourth one. It's not reading. Ha. Let me go to the fifth one. You see what it read? One side is reading 2.7 kilo ohms. The other side is reading 4. Point something kilo ohms. A combination of let me say 8k or 7. Point something k is still okay, as long as it's still within the range of, as long as it it does not exceed the 10k, you know that it's okay. But if it's a 10k variable and you read the legs like that, the center to this side, the center to this side, the addition of boot value when it exceeds 10k meaning uh, there is something wrong let's say the variable resistor is 5k if you read it the way i read it and it exceed 5k in your total reading know that something is wrong with that variable you watch the first four one two three four that not read well meaning those variables are bad and i'm suspecting that might only be the problem that is affecting this but before then let me still just check the relays and see what is wrong. Let me just trigger the relay and see. Now this is century. I can trigger this relay without damaging the transistor. Now, I know why I'm using this, but if you have a 12 volt, this is a constructed 12 volt uh, stuff by one of my students. So that's what I use. Now, this side, they, lay, they add tape on it, is the negative. This side is the positive. So, if you watch where are the relay, come closer, you find out that a part of the, one leg of the relay is linked to the 12 volts. So, my positive side remain there. So, the negative side will be applied to the other side. That one triggered. 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 So meaning the triggering are okay. But at times it might trigger like that. But before you know the relay is there's already a carbon bond in between. But in this case i'm suspecting where the problem lies is this variable now the next thing i want to just verify is there are resistors that help in the stability of the system i need to check those resistors and they are mainly 220k 220k and one meg but majority century uses 220k that is this resistor that comes from this major high voltage line one two three if you look through the back here they are basically 220k let me just read them and see 220k this one is giving me 220.4k okay it's okay then this one giving me 220.2k it's okay this one giving me 220 
two two zero point nine. It's okay. In case you read it, it still give you one hundred and something kilo ohms. It's still okay. It's just maybe because of the circuit, there are some things connected to it in parallel that makes it not to read like that. But this one is just a diode that comes after the resistor. So when it reads like that, it's still okay. But if you are not certain on whether that, that thing is correct, you, you disorder it and check it. So what else again am I checking? I'm already aware of that. The transistor will be okay since there is no blast. I wish there is a blast in any of the line. I would have been reading the transistors. But if you want to read the transistors, you look for your base. Your emitter is always connected to the ground. Look at the emitter connected to ground. Look at the emitter connected to ground. So the base, since you see it almost like C1815, the base is at this side. Your wrist like this. Your wrist like this. Okay. I got five zero point five nine one volts, zero point five nine five volts, zero point five nine one volts, zero point five nine six volts. The higher voltage is the side of the emitter, the lower voltage is the side of the collector, which is still okay. If it reads less than zero point 400 and if you reach anything that anything 0 0.400 or something to me i removed such a transistor it's supposed to be nothing less than 0 0.500 volts if it's less than 0 0.500 volts disorder that transistor don't use it again this one is 0 0.596 0 0.591 or 2 which is still okay so it's okay so for me now the next thing i'm going to do is to remove the variable is to remove uh, the variable resistors and fix a new one and meaning immediately i fix a new one and we have to calibrate it so here we go now in the disordering One, two, You clean the legs. Okay, this one there's no center there. So I've cleaned the legs. Let me just read that last one again. Let me know. Oh, should I just change all of them? This one is well. Let me leave it alone. So I'm changing one, two, three, four. I don't post it. So I don't want the videos them to be too long. I'm going to cut it off here. In the next video, it's where I will be fixing the variable and also doing the calibration. So see you in the next video.